How's it going, y'all? This is Daryl, and I want to talk to you guys about something that's really, really important. And now that the elections is over, <clears throat> hopefully, we can get a lot, a lot more attention than what has been getting over the time frame. <clears throat> a lot of people has been so worried about the election that they, I don't know why, they neglect to pay attention to certain events that's going on in the U.S. today and also around the world. Now, what we're going to be talking about here today is we're going to be talking about disasters. Now, a lot of people, I don't know why it is, they just don't want to think about disasters. They didn't, they have that mentality of, oh, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen to me. It's going to happen somewhere else. It's not going to happen to me. Well, as you guys can see on the screen, Guatemala just had a... 7.4 earthquake today um, the east coast that got hit by Hurricane Sandy is having another storm right now you know and you just you just go through and you just look at all this stuff like look recent earthquakes you know Guatemala you know we got Iran we also got a recent earthquake that happened today in the upper part of Oregon that was a 4.2 that's not on this list. And you just go down, you know. We got floods all over the world. You see, you can see all the places all over the world that has floods everywhere. We got volcanoes, which a lot of people don't understand that. If a volcano actually erupts and it's a massive eruption, that it will send ash into the stratosphere that will pretty much damage the whole the world. Now, I don't understand why people don't understand that, but they do. We don't have any typhoons, and we don't have a lot of more national disasters. Now, on top of that, a lot of people don't understand the practicality of prepping. Now, what prepping is, they think, oh, you're crazy. you praying for something that's happening on somewhere else in the world, and you don't understand. And it's not going to happen here. Actually, I got something I want you guys to understand. Okay, so now we're back on and we're looking here at Hurricane Sandy report. Now, I'm on American Prepper Network and you guys can go ahead and see that, you know, just going through, going through the, the time frame that it hit, <clears throat> everything, you see the damage, we all see it on the news. Everything. But one thing I want to point out and a lot of people they have this mentality and I seen it in Katrina when I got deployed right after Katrina hit now what you're looking on the screen is actually the supermarkets I think this one is Walmart now a lot of people they don't want to prepare they was like oh we got time to prepare we don't it's not gonna happen to us but as you guys can see here this is exactly what people saw that went down to the local markets, Walmart, Safeway, if they have it out there, I don't think so. Some of the name. But something like Safeway. I'm on the West Coast, so we have Safeway here. But supermarkets like Safeway and everything. And you see that this is what people get there. Now you understand that people are panicking, they don't have anything in the house, and they're not prepared for a disaster that's gonna put them out for a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, three months, six months, a year. You know, you never know. You can't always rely on federal government. Yeah, federal government responded this fast this time. But think back in Hurricane Katrina where it took almost a month for FEMA to get down there and take care of the people down there. And even then, they didn't even take care of the people down there. But you guys see right here. Look, empty. Now, what you guys got to understand that these big chain supermarkets only have enough food for two days. That's right, two days. You know, you think they got, oh, they got a big warehouse in the back and everything. No, it's only stocked enough for two days. If you don't understand it, it's, it's supply and demand. They don't want to store a lot of product for more than two days to keep it fresh, whatever the reasons that they want to do it. But it only takes two days. This was actually broadcast and reviewed back in Hurricane Katrina days when I was down there and we went 
down there and we was just looking and everything was empty. All the warehouses, everything was empty. I was actually based in Covington, Louisiana when I was going down there and it was just, it looked just like this, just with a whole bunch of water and stuff inside of it. Okay, now I want you guys to go ahead and take a look at, I'm actually here on Google, you can do the same thing, you know, so you guys can actually see the picture. But take a look at the, the result of Sandy. You know, and the difference between a hurricane, earthquake, tornado, hailstorm, firestorm, nuclear, all that stuff is if you don't prepare, the results will always be the same. Now, let's, let's talk about, about the difference between a hurricane and a tornado. Hurricanes, we know that they're coming. We can almost predict to a T where they're going to make landfall, when they're going to make landfall, and the amount of damage it's going to make. Tornadoes, where the technology we have now, we can pretty much predict where we have the, the super sales at that might most likely drop a tornado, but we don't know which way it's going to go. You know, and also look at earthquakes. You know, earthquakes is a huge thing because I'm on the West Coast. You know, even though earthquakes happen all over, but I'm on the West Coast where we're prominently, our major disasters are always pretty much earthquakes and everything. So, earthquakes is really big because we don't have a prediction. No, we don't know when it's going to happen. You know, we don't know two days, three days, four days out. Oh, we don't even know a few hours out before it happens. All we know is that one second, we're fine. Now, second, we're destroyed. Simple as that, you know. And if you live on the West Coast and you're not thinking about it like that, wake the heck up, you know. You're not going to know when an earthquake is going to hit. It's that simple, you know. So you need to prepare for if it's going to hit tomorrow. Now, a lot of people tell me, well, I don't have any money to prepare. Or a lot of people tell me, well, I don't know what exactly I need to do to prepare. You know, so what I want to do for you guys is I'm actually going to put down in my blog, which is going to be a link down below. It's going to give you guys a list of items that you should have for each person in your family. Now, a lot of people say, well, we have little kids, so they don't need all these items. I'm telling you, just do the list of items. It's really, really simple. If you're working, what you do is you take 10 to $20 every paycheck, and you go and buy. Or when you go make groceries or something, or you go and buy something, just pick up an extra item. You know, say they can go and go to the doctor store. Uh, these medical stores that we have here, you guys can, I'm just going to do so you guys can just see the, the pictures and everything. Um, so that you can pretty much just pick up an item and store it somewhere. You know, they got these, all these amazing websites and everything that you can go to and find these things. Um, but yeah, you guys can go ahead and check out my blog that I have on here. I don't want to talk for like an hour, two hours on uh, this whole factor, you guys missed the point. The whole point is don't wait until it's too late. Now, that's what happened with Sandy, you know, and I'm sorry about the people that had that mentality of it's never going to happen and now they're suffering on that I did, you know. I'm really, really sorry for all national disasters that happen in the U.S. and around the world. But one thing I need to stress the factor is it's not a question on if it's a question when we see it all over the world you know when we had those major firestorms in colorado when we had you know those major earthquakes when we had sandy katrina wilmer ivan all these hurricanes when we had pretty much all these natural disasters it's not a question no one ever asks if this is going to happen you know it's always a question on when it's going to happen. Why do you think your federal government now and all these other places are telling you to prepare? 
You know, if you go on FEMA website and you go and look at preparation, they tell you to build a kit. It's not that hard to have a kit. It takes maybe thirty, forty dollars to build a kit per person. You know, and you don't have to build a kit all together. You can just get water first, get food, get light, things like batteries or buy a generator. Like that's what happens when Sandy hit. And you see all these pictures on the websites of people running extension cords out and saying we have power charged. Do you really, really think it's any different? No, they have generators. They, they're they preppers in a sense. They prepare for something that might happen, might never happen, you know? But that mentality that they have is if versus when. If you have that if mentality, you know, you're never going to be prepared if a disaster happens. If you have that win mentality, you're going to be prepared even if a disaster never happened that you prepare for, but you still prepare for if something else happens. You know, so thank you very much. Go ahead and check out my blog. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out the other videos that I have. And make sure you share this with people and also make sure that you read my blog because I actually got an article on there that's really really helpful if you're on the east coast right now and affected by Sandy my condolences and stuff goes to you and everyone else on the east coast I'm sorry for the guys lost if you lost anyone and I'm sorry for the damages that happened you know but well, hopefully this is a wake-up call and you guys will start to prepare for when the next one's gonna happen alright thank you have a good day